Winston Edmondson here. When you think big data services, you think Cloudwick Technologies. I'm here with Manny Chabra of Cloudwick Technologies. He's going to tell me a little bit about what, uh, what he's here presenting at Hadoop Summit. Manny, thanks for being with us. No problem. Thanks a lot uh, for interviewing us. Uh, we, uh, my name is Manny Chabra. I uh, I'm the president and CEO of the Cloudwick Technologies. We are a Hadoop services company for the last three years, uh, participating in implementation and integration uh, aspects of the Hadoop ecosystem in the enterprise world. And uh, we are, what we have seen is a preponderance of services which are required in the enterprises, and we are developing those frameworks. And now we are releasing that for the outside of the Fortune 100, where we've seen most of the production services happening. And we are launching it uh, for the medium uh, enterprises, uh, we're launching two kind of services. One is the managed services for clusters. Uh, it is to basically help you to, from the bare uh, metal, to deploy the clusters, manage the clusters, support 24 by 7, uh, and kind of like run your day-to-day -day system administration tasks. The second part of the services which we have seen a lot happening is that offloading of the data from the data warehousing. You know, uh, the acquisition of data uh, at Teradata's or the Green Plums is very, very expensive. And what Hadoop has sort of become is, is becoming the lake, the data lake for the within the enterprises, where you can take all the data which is sitting in the, uh, the, the historical data which has been sitting outside there, is being you know ingested into Hadoop, and then you can run some machine learning algorithms to find patterns in that one. And so there's a preponderance, preponderance of the use cases which is very, very happening in the Fortune 100, and we think it is very, very applicable to uh, enterprises outside the Fortune 100 in this area. So let's break that down a little bit. Tell me uh, maybe a uh, use case scenario. What type of business might come to you and, and prior to, to working with you, what, what might their, their system look like? I want to understand uh, kind of where they were and then where you can help them progress to. Yeah, so if you see, in the, especially in the financial services, uh, there are a lot of compliance and legal issue for them to handle the data for like historical for 10 years or so. And one of the challenge happens is that there's so much of data sitting with them and it is not accessible right away. And a year by year, they will basically have to go to buy Teradata or they have to buy Oracle or the Green Plum, spending millions of dollars in acquiring those new licenses because they have to maintain the data and the amount of data is increasing substantially. So we basically go in there and kind of help them in offloading the, that data, at, the, at least the historical data, from the enterprise data warehouse onto Hadoop. You know, and that makes it cheaper. The cost comparisons are just beyond means. So you can practically have per data, uh, per terabyte acquisition cost on Hadoop is somewhere in the range of thousand dollars. Whereas if you basically deploy on Teradata or Green Plum, you have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars per terabyte. You know, and they, uh, the tools which are existing data where enterprise data warehouse are good for computation, but they're not that uh, uh, good for storage. So Hadoop can easily replace that storage part and leave the computational aspect. Uh, onto the Teradatas, while while other applications are being on the Hadoop platform. So, did I hear that right? In, in some situations, you're talking about one one hundredth of the cost. Yes. So yes. immediately, you, you're talking about just a cost benefit right off the bat. Before you even talk about potentially being able to extrapolate and 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 benefit from the data. Just right off the bat, you're talking about saving lots of money. Lots of money. You can <laughs> practically set up the clusters, you know, and provide services. And just 30% of the uh, yearly cost is maintenance. So if you have existing, you know, around, let's say, 200 terabyte, and you have 10 terabyte, li 10 licenses of uh, Teradata or Greenplum, that cost will run you in millions of dollars. You know, so it's just basically offloading that to Hadoop will basically save you a ton of money. And that's what we have seen. That there's a lot of evidence which is happening in the financial services company, like what we have done and implemented in Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, American Express. A lot of these companies, same use cases coming again and again. Pretty incredible. So uh, you, you take a business, and now they are. Uh, they're saving a lot of money. What's the next step? What are some of those um, additional benefits that you'll be able to offer? So once you basically have the data and the historical data, now just think about this thing. There is, this data was never available at one place any time in the history of the enterprise. So you have 10 years of historical data and you can run machine algorithms to find the patterns. 
and that patterns can basically like give you such a historical premise to that that what has been actually happening in the business which is not available earlier now you can do whatever you, because your data fabric is already there sitting on hadoop you can start syncing up other data sources onto hadoop you, you can take binary data from the mainframes you can take data from the other data enterprise data warehouses and now you have one place of data lake is as it's called in the industry and you can run with it and you can present do data whether you want to do data analytics on that or you want to do look for different patterns fraud analysis all of those things are available right at the one place so you could argue in in some respects that before now companies were flying blindly they had no idea what was taking place you're now able to use this data to let them actually understand what has been happening what are the patterns what are what are their customers and clients um, you, you know what trends and patterns they can get from that i exactly because if you earlier you know what people will do analytics they would take one tenth of the data and they'll have the one tenth of data imported and hear the answer from the one person of that one tenth of the data so you practically were making these models and you're presuming that these models are correct on the businesses you know so there's a lot of presumptions going on that okay this is what it is coming from but now you just have just imagine that the one person doesn't contain the actual answer the rest 99% contains the actual answer right. so you are missing a lot of information <laughs> so this is this is one scenario where hadoop i think is going to be a sea change is happening and that's the that's the start of the hadoop uh, practically all the tools once they become built in and you have the real time uh, streaming of the data coming to hadoop and you have applications coming and now you can practically take that analysis and kind of do all kind of different applications so you might have some uh, CIOs that are watching this and they think that you know what we're talking about sounds all well and good but they're not very imaginative they can't really grasp the true uh, uh, benefit is there any type of example of a trend that uh, it, not not a specific company but to something you can point to a trend that was that was found or that was uh, able to help a customer uh, change the way they do business based on the information they've they've gathered from from big data yeah i mean if you if you look at hadoop as a service uh, hadoop as a security service which you've seen a lot in happening in the financial services ultim uh, earlier they were not able to collect all the log data from all the places where they have the systems into one place and now they can grab all this data at one place and analyze the patterns you know you can have the fraud patterns you can have the information uh, ip uh, claims which basically going out and you can see all those patterns happening and those are not uh, one was not able to do that before so that you will see a lot of this preponderance of evidence coming into the case i mean granted that the two different worlds one is the enterprise world which is basically has all the restrictions and everything and then there is one the silicon valley which has no legacy they can come up with all these new models but once you start with hadoop these these convergence will start happening that there is a requirement of these what the new companies are doing the use cases with the building in you can start applying that to the enterprises and you can find a lot of uses in the enterprises you know now what we're talking about is it's not static things are changing every day and uh, you know new new services are, are are coming online that you can really benefit these customers anything on the horizon that's exciting to you i think the real uh, the next level i think is going to be this real time streaming I think uh, you've seen a lot of tools coming. There's a company called Data Torrent, which is over here. And then we have seen uh, through the Twitter, uh, the Storm, and the Kafka platform. I think which is coming. So you practically can take all the analytics you've done. You can feed that into the mapping tables, and as steam as you get the real streaming, you can practically go and see if the pattern matches. If the pattern matches, then you can flag it for the fraud or any other kind of things. So those, I think, when you take all the learnings of the historical patterns and then apply the real real time is when you will see the real work being done. Pretty exciting stuff. Manny, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Uh they can go to our website, they can check our website for all the use cases and everything, and they can also send us an email at sales@cloudig.com and uh, they can reach and we can provide the services and the use cases for them. Fantastic. Winston Edmondson for Studio B, checking out.